Hi and welcome to Overclockers UK TV. In this video, we're going to take a look at the new Z270 range from Asus. Here we have a selection of the Z270 range from Asus. At the top of the table, we've got the Maximus 9 Hero. Next up, we have the Strix Z270G Gaming. Next here, we have the Strix Z270F Gaming. And at the bottom here, we have the Prime Z270P. Here we have the Maximus 9 Hero. This is part of the latest Asus ROG Z270 range. As such, it has a number of ROG specific features, including support for up to 64 gigabytes of memory at 4133 MHz. The board is also an excellent overclocker. On top of that, the board supports Asus Supreme effects, so you can customize your audio settings. The board has support for up to two M.2 drives and six SATA devices. On top of that, you have support for S-Lite and Crossfire configurations. The PCI lanes on this are also reinforced, so when you're building or transporting your system, you won't run into problems. On the back of the motherboard, you'll find DisplayPort and HDMI, a BIOS reset switch, four USB 2s, five USB 3s, including USB Type-C, and audio connectors along with gigabit ethernet. Taking a look at the design of the Maximus 9 Hero, you will see it does follow traditional ROG styling. However, they have done away with the red. This means it's more neutral and will fit in with most builds. On top of that, it does have Asus Aura Sync. So you can synchronize this motherboard and its lighting to, with your graphics cards or Asus peripherals. You will also be able to control RGB strips and light up your whole case. Next up, we have the Z270G Gaming and the Z270F Gaming. These form part of the Strix ROG range. As ROG and Strix boards, they focus on gaming and high-end features. As such, they support up to 4,000 MHz RAM, have support for NVMe storage, AMD Crossfire, and NVIDIA SLI. Here we have the Z270G Gaming. It's part of the Strix and ROG range from Asus. As such, it does inherit a number of ROG features while being focused on gaming. It supports SLI and Crossfire configurations. Both of the PCI Express lanes do have the reinforcement on, so when you're building or transporting your system, you won't run into any problems. On top of that, it supports up to 64 gigabytes of memory at 4,000 megahertz, and this board is also an excellent overclocker. Taking a look at this board from a design perspective, it does follow ROG styling. However, it does have a unique Strix flair to it. On top of that, the board supports Asus Aura Sync. It has two Asus Aura enabled headers. You can synchronize LED strips and the board itself with other Asus Aura enabled peripherals, cases, or even your graphics card. Looking at the specifications of the motherboard, it supports up to 64 gigabytes of memory at 4,000 megahertz. The board itself will make an excellent overclocker thanks to its ROG heritage. Features wise, it has Asus Supreme FX, which means you can customize your audio options in Sonic Studio 3 or Sonic Radar 3. On top of that, it supports AMD Crossfire along with NVIDIA SLI. For storage, you can have up to six SATA drives or a single M.2 NVMe drive. On the back of the motherboard, you'll find HDMI and DisplayPort for using onboard video, Wi-Fi and gigabit ethernet for connectivity, along with USB 3 Type-C and USB 3, along with USB 2 and audio jacks. Here we have the Z270F Gaming, the bigger brother to the G. While this is a micro ATX board, this is a full ATX board. It shares the ROG heritage, which means it's an excellent overclocker. On top of that, it supports up to 64 gigabytes of memory at 4000 megahertz as well. Storage wise, it supports up to six SATA drives and two M.2 NVMe drives. The board itself also features Nvidia SLI and AMD Crossfire support. On top of that, you'll find that the PCI Express lanes are also reinforced. That means when you are building or transporting your system, you won't run into any problems. From a design perspective, the Z270F Gaming follows the same as its little brother. It does have the unique ROG styling with a Strix flair. This board also supports Asus Aura, so you can synchronize it with your Asus Aura compatible peripherals or components. This board has built-in RGB in the IO shield, therefore you can customize the board itself along with the RGB strips to match your build. On the back of the motherboard, it has support for USB 3, including Type-C, USB 2, Gigabit Ethernet, and this time onboard video for DVI, HDMI, and DisplayPort. This is a small selection from the ROG Strix range. As you can see, they support high-end memory and Asus Aura, therefore they have great design and premium features. Lastly, we have the Asus Prime Z270P. This is one of the more accessible boards in the Asus lineup, while still maintaining a number of high-end features. This board has support for AMD Crossfire, two M.2 NVMe drives, four SATA hard drives, and 64 gigabytes of memory support. Looking at the specifications of the motherboard, it supports up to 64 gigabytes of memory at 3,866 megahertz. The board itself will also overclock thanks to the Asus UEFI. From a storage perspective, it supports up to four SATA devices and two M.2 NVMe drives. The board also supports AMD Crossfire. On the back of the board, you'll find DVI along with PS2 ports, USB 3 and Gigabit Ethernet. 
Overall, this board has a nice design along with a long list of premium features, which means it's perfect for those looking to get into Z270. This is a small selection of the Asus Z270 range. As you can see, they have a number of premium features and great design. If you want to check out more about them or want to see our systems featuring the Asus products, check out the links here and we'll see you next time.